Welcome to EasyOps. EasyOps is your one-stop solution for any help you need in your e-commerce journey. We'll help you in every step. And if you want to learn more about EasyOps, just go to easyops.in or easyops.io. You will get everything and you will have all the resources that you need to know about EasyOps. So today's video is all about helping you to start your e-commerce journey. So the topic today is how to start your e-commerce journey. And if you are interested in this topic, stay tuned we are starting right now so today we are going to see how to start your e-commerce journey excited let's roll so on today's module we are going to understand number one where to sell a lot of platforms are there and it can be overwhelming but you need to understand exactly which platform would be good for your product and your interest how to evaluate those platform will see it and you will learn exactly what are the pros and cons of some platform and how to evaluate it three will understand all the options available all the different kind of platforms available all the things the features they provide and is it good to go in a marketplace or build your own website and build your own platform all those things will be answered just stick with this video so the e-commerce experience what experience does an e-commerce app provide fundamentally amazon me show anything you hear or any shopify website is just an e-commerce website right it's just an e-commerce marketplace but fundamentally they may be same but they are quite different in nature suppose amazon is a huge marketplace which targets a little bit premium segment not the highly premium but a little premium segment and ships worldwide whereas flipkart is a very indian organization it only operates in india and it has features which are more or less tailored towards india thus the advertising and everything that flipkart do is much more indian in terms and it targets basically the native audience of a country and it's that country's particular app so it has that kind of feature this is i'm giving you just a rough example similarly if we take misho misho is a newly formed organization which is fairly new in the e-commerce world but they target basically the lower or mid-tier audience who are like who don't buy very expensive thing and who don't even buy too cheap but they've tried to find out the best possible rates they want to go directly and talk to the wholesaler they don't want to invest any penny in just giving a brand they want the similar product even it is not from the particular brand but at a lower cost they are like targeting more price conscious audience so it is a niche audience which they are tailoring to so thus every app has their different pros and cons this is an e-commerce experience what experience does a e-commerce app provide you what my point so the point is every app like you go to a shopify website if it is branded properly it gives you a very different feel about the product about the journey and all the things up there the product everything says a story gives you an experience talks to their target audience yeah that's the e-commerce apps experience so you need to understand if that experience matches your product like whatever you're selling matches to the audience that that platform provides you if it doesn't you need to create your own platform because if you go to a platform where there is no audience alike to your product which you would be thinking that this kind of audience is my target audience but that particular platform is nowhere close to your target audience it targets a very different persona it targets a very different segment and it targets a very different demographics thus your product would not sell at a huge quantity on that particular website so it would be a huge fail instantly so you need to take care of that so let's just explore all the pros and cons of different e-commerce platforms so first of all the pros and cons of amazon the pro amazon has a huge number of audience like the audience available at amazon.in.com or any website that belongs to amazon is massive they are the market leader in e-commerce so they have a huge scaling opportunity like you sell a product you can sell it on huge margin and they have they target almost all the demographics they are not a niche oriented 
e-commerce platform but they target everyone worldwide so the marketing cost with amazon is very low you don't have to invest a lot of money to get seen on amazon or to push your products it is very easy if you just do a proper seo write the description properly put the video put the photos and videos properly it will work out so you don't have to put a lot of money in marketing so the amazon's network is very huge like they have Amazon FBA, the fulfillment centers, they have their own delivery services. They have collaborated with all the other delivery services, almost all the major delivery services work with Amazon and their service, the customer service and all is top notch. But there are cons to it too. So the cons are it is too high competition on Amazon. The competition on Amazon is fierce. Every other seller is selling something similar to you. If you put any product, there will be 20 to 30 sellers selling that same product and Amazon will also come with a ripoff. If that product is working very well, Amazon will replicate in their Amazon basics and sell it at a very competitive pricing. So your place to stand in between all of this becomes very low. So Amazon has a huge competition. Two, bad order management system. Once you start using their order management system, you will feel it very clinky and it doesn't work very nicely. You have to update it regularly you have to check all the things with your own they don't have any kind of automations and all those things can be a hassle when you grow up to around 30 40 orders a day also you need to again put and give reports to amazon and all if you don't do it it might be like you are selling those products which are already out of stocks so now you cannot deliver to the people and they will get frustrated and the reviews will come back so amazon might work on this but there is no way he, they are going to be because a lot of things are going on so if you want a good order management service you can always go to easy ops and check out us but that's not a promotion it's just an example if you are someone who is ordering like 20 30 orders per day you should check out easy ops it can easily help you a lot then the data feed you need to constantly keep feeding data to amazon whatever you are selling what are the things you are doing when you package the product everything you need to manually input and all those things can be very frustrating at times when you have a lot of orders so this is the pros and cons of amazon then we have flipkart see flipkart is an indian brand now we are mostly talking to the indian audience and we are an indian organization so we have taken the example of flipkart if you are not from india this is not relevant to you but this example will help you understand that similarly like flipkart there are other e-commerce will be available at your own place and you can also evaluate them with the same technique what we are doing pros and cons three most important pros and three most important cons so one the first pro of flipkart is national targeted audience they target indian audience so if you are a manufacturer who is selling in india if you are a shopkeeper who is selling in india if you are a reseller who wants to sell in india flipkart is your go-to place because it basically targets them and it does a very good job at doing that better service offering like if you are servicing in india flipkart will be the best choice because they have the best servicing points they can even those places where amazon doesn't reach in india Flipkart has their service points up there. They service all those pin codes and everything. So it would be very good for you. And they offer a very competitive pricing. Like they offer a very good fee structure. They don't charge you as much as Amazon does. So it is much better for Indian audiences. Good network and services just I said. They have a good network just like Amazon. Flipkart if you are in India working out. They have the best network possible and they have the best services but at times after covid basically their services has gone little bit down their customer care is not that much efficient like earlier but they do a good job cons on flipkart mostly it's an offer race you will see a lot of offers flying here and there if you are selling a product the other sellers will be just pricing it very competitive and you just it's like a price war you have the best pricing you sell the product so that's the case in flipkart then information management the same problem with amazon but amazon are good at other systems but as a whole flipkart's whole backend system is not that efficient so you need to take help of other systems that will help you other systems and softwares that will help you 
organize everything and maintain your business properly then customer support like i said they have good service they have good network but the customer support nowadays is not at the point so that's the thing you should keep in consideration now there is others what are others all those apps like misho shop close they target a particular niche audience and if your product resonates with the niche audience of that app you should be there so the pros of this kind of apps are like niche audience so suppose you are selling sarees and all and you want to price it very competitive you are not a huge brand and all but you are going to be in the price game and sell it to the local people very much price conscious people are your target audience who think and search in the market couldn't find the best price and you are giving the best price possible on the internet so then misho is a kind of app which does the same thing they targets to the audience which are very price conscious so their audience and your demanding audience matches and you should sell on misho got it so that's niche audience then unique product placement your product will be very different than other platforms like your product is not a generalized product it's a unique product it will not be a huge success in a generalized marketplace but on an app which literally have your target audience which deals with the product similar to your niche you can just go there and work on because the uniqueness of both your product and that particular e-commerce platform matches instead of going to generalized e-commerce platform then there is low charges and competition like those apps which are not in the top playing grounds have a very competitive pricing and can give you a lot of profit in your pockets cons not hugely scalable like they don't have the audience worldwide or something like that that's why you can't scale your product at a massive scale but if you are on amazon selling something you can scale it in a massive scale you can't even imagine how much revenue that product can bring in it might be a simple mouse pad so you need to think of that that if i go and sell something such kind my product is very unique and i am selling on a unique platform it might not be that scalable then low quality backend support side you face any problem you go through any hiccups there will be a very low to negligible backend support also the softwares and all will be not as optimized as you would wish or you have experience with the bigger platforms so this is another thing you need to have service issues will be there they will be not serviceable to all the pin codes in the area where you want to sell they might not have the good courier partners a lot of things could come into play that would ruin your experiences but if you don't want it you can go to easyops.in fill the form get your trial and talk to our experts and they can suggest you about the platforms and all in depth now let's look at the custom store what if you build a custom store this is a possibility like i have a very unique product i don't want to sell any of my platform i want to build my own unique website on shopify it may be a custom website it may be anything but it's your own website you are the owner you are everything and no one else has a single penny to charge you for selling up there this is your own platform so number one pro you choose your audience now you target anyone you wish you want to target 40 year olds good enough you want to target 10 to 15 or 20 years old good enough it's your choice who you want to target what is your audience type what is their behavior what is their demographics everything depends on you unique branding so you will be very unique you will be your own uh, identity you will not have to go under the shadow of amazon flipkart or anyone else you will have your own identity and your own face of your brand on that particular website or that platform then you own everything simple as that you have to do everything you will own everything there will be no one charging you any fees nothing is there you have to take care of shipping you have to take care of fulfillment you have to take care of everything but you will own everything there will be no other person who is owning anything of you you will be the sole responsible for everything you do then the cons tough competition you need to beat all the others around you so that your product stays at top so you need to work as a brand 
वेरी एक्सपेंसिव नंबर टू नंबर टू ह्यूज मार्केटिंग एक्सपेंसिस टू क्रिएट ए न्यू प्रोडक्ट एंड फ्रॉम ग्राउंड टू द टॉप यू बिल्डिंग इट इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपेंसिस इट्स अ वेरी कैपिटल डिपेंडिंग गेम वेर यू नीड टू पुट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी इन मार्केटिंग एंड एडवर्टाइजिंग टू ग्रो योर ब्रांड देन मैनेज एवरीथिंग एज यू ओन एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू मैनेज ए टू जैट यू नीड टू मैनेज द वेबसाइट you need to manage the customer experience you need to manage the products you need to manage the orders you need to ship the orders you need to manage the refund everything you can't even lose any point you need to manage the warehouses so now we have talked about all the things in the next upcoming videos we are going to talk about shipping and fulfillment we'll do everything just you need to do subscribe and before we end this is a quote from jeb bezos you should always remember if you are starting your e-commerce journey i will see you in the next video see ya